the classic is when John Lennon offered to write me a song in the in the canteen at Thank You Lucky Stars, and because I I'd worked at the Cavern with the Beatles, uh, when we were we were the name act, Mike Burr and the Outlaws, we'd gone up in our van, and we'd had tribute to Buddy Holly was a hit, and I think the Outlaws had had. Um, uh, swinging Low, I think, or Ambush or something, would have been a minor hit, maybe by then. And uh, also we'd done a telly, we'd been, on, we'd been on Thank You Lucky Stars. And so because I'd had a hit record, I'd been on TV when we, uh, we were taken to Liverpool to, to work. We, were, we worked the Cavern and we did lunch times there and stuff. And then we met the Beatles there. But Brian up somebody just to meet the Beatles because he figured we would have some influence, having been on the telly, had a hit record, we would know people. Nothing. You know, you just did not. It was, the business was there, the artists were there, never the twain shall meet. But Brian Epstein, in his naivety, thought, if I keep these in gym with these guys, and in hindsight, I could see, because he got, he got Paul McCartney to give me a lift back to my hotel, I call it a hotel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 12 and 6 a night, you work it out. And he turned, he, he gave me a lift home, Paul. And we also were invited back to Brian Epstein's flat to listen to the Beatles tape he had of them. And uh, Chaz's comment was, was, his only positive comment was like, he, he wrote members really liking the harmonies. I didn't hear anything. It was a, such a, a noise. I didn't really recognize anything one or the other. Besides which, I was a lead singer. I'm not interested in other guys and what they're doing if only good. I just figured I'm the man I've got to worry about, nobody else. Their first television was Thank You Lucky Stars, to my knowledge, and they were, they'd were they had Love Me Do, and they were about to do Please Please Me, so they weren't known for their writing. And uh, I was with my manager, we were in the canteen chatting, and, uh, and John was there talking to us, I suppose, ring on, then we were in the queue getting their grub. And uh, we were talking about songs and stuff, and John Lennon said, we'll write your song, we'll write your song. Really keen, you know, it's almost grabbing your lapels. And uh, I just didn't think anything of it. A, oh, it was in a sort of incestuous sort of thing with Joe Meek. It was, everything was in-house, he kept it all in-house. He didn't even take on songs by the writers of the day, let alone some new guy from a band he'd never heard of, who had one minor hit. So, uh, I didn't actually turn it down, but we just thought nothing of it. So and that, I, ever since then, I thought, I'd have had bad to me. Do you want to know a secret? I've had all these hit songs. <laughs>